G'day guys, welcome back again. I have some leftover paints here uh, that I used for my Galaxy Paw, my Planet Paw, which was my ring paws on a black background. Uh, so I've still got lots of paints and I thought, well, what can I do with them? Because they're really quite thin. They're um, three to one, three parts flow troll, one part paint. There's no silicone in them. So I thought I'm just going to do a traditional straight pour. So layer the paints and just pour and tilt and see what happens. So that's what I'm going to do. As I said, they're, they're quite thin. They're only three to one. Normally when I do a ring pour, I would do two to one. But this is what I've got left. So let me just change these colors around. I don't want the black next to the pink because it can go a little bit muddy. Mm, I think, yeah, I'll leave them like that. Nope, no, I'll do that. Let's do that. Okay. And um, I, I have got some orange and yellow there, but they just don't match with this color scheme. So I'm just going to do these ones. And I'm going to put two layers of each in, just pouring them in. A little bit of white. Hopefully it won't be too thin. the black I've got a little bit of black left over as well uh, this one here this was what I used for my background it's four to one so it's really quite thin so I can use that on my corners if I need to and I want to probably try and stretch this paint out and just see what happens because it's got the flow troll in it and it's quite thin I am expecting some cells, maybe. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Right, I think that'll do. I don't want too much. I can, if I, if I don't have enough in this cup, I can always make some more in another cup because I've got plenty there still. Isn't that pretty? Right, pinch that there. So I've got black on the bottom, a couple of layers of, well, I think two layers no, black in the bottom, black in the middle, black on the top. Three layers of black. So what goes in first is going to come out last. And what goes in last will obviously come out first. So I want black in the middle and black on the outside. So black first and last. Okay, so I'm not going to do circles. I'm just going to pour in the one spot and see what happens. got cells in my cup you can see them and it looks as if they are coming out on the pool all right I'll just catch the drips there well that's pretty I don't know if you can see that look at all those cells in the cup I'm going to cut this open. Look at those cells in the cup from the flow troll. It's amazing, isn't it? No oil, just from the flow troll. We put that in the bin before it drips everywhere. Flow troll is a commercial paint conditioner or paint thinner. Uh, Spray painters use it in their spray guns so that it, uh, the nozzles don't get clogged up with paint. So that's what it is used for. And I am sure it has some kind of oil in it because when I pour Floetrol out into a cup, I can see oil sitting on top. I'm just letting that rest for a minute. Let it do what it wants to do while I put some 
black on my corners and because I put the black paint in first and last I should have some black around the edge over here definitely and uh, it'll match nicely hopefully so because Floetrol has got some kind of oil in it I'm sure of it I don't know guaranteed but I can see some kind of oil there we do get cells from it especially when you have a thin mix like this and when the paints mix into each other they go around each other the, the higher densities sink the lower densities come up and that oil comes up with it same sort of system as if we were using silicone oil or um, hair serum same oh i haven't turned my notifications off i'm so sorry um right i'll have to leave it for now i'm liking these colors let's do a quick torch Please don't flame. This thing has been a flamethrower lately. A bit of a torch that will help the oils to come up to the surface and bring any more cells with them. Okay. Uh, so it looks as if the white is quite reactive. Which way will I go first? I think I'll go down to this corner first. Just gonna take my time. This the first section here where it's all sort of um, feathery, that seems to be a more attractive area than up here where it's just circles. So go off there first, I think. paint's rolling on top of it on top of itself so it's kind of losing all that white which is a bit of a shame isn't it my white cells although maybe I'll get some more popping up I might get some more just gonna put a bit more black here I am expecting to take the paint over there though, but I just thought I'd put a little bit more black there. Don't want to lose all that white though. Let's go over this way a little bit more. Now I'm not looking for something matchy matchy on today's pour, like, you know, this centered down the middle there. I, I'm wanting it to look a little bit abstract. I'll just go touch that black and then come back again. And as I stretch this, more and more cells should pop up. These are pretty, aren't they? These white cells here. I'm a bit sorry now that I've lost them on that side. Keep stretching the paint out. More and more cells will pop up. Let's wait till that gets down to the bottom there. And I'm going to torch again. Bring up any more cells that there may be. natural cells coming up in these I don't particularly like adding silicone to these I have done in the past but I do prefer just the natural cells to pop up haven't got much blue have I the pink has really taken over It's moving pretty slowly. I probably could have done with a little bit more paint. 
in my cup but let's stretch the other side out looks as if I'm going to lose all that white there next time I need to put more white in it it's really struggling now to get right down there I don't really want to lose all that white. Because it's very pretty. Now hold on to this corner here and push it back down and let that white run down a little bit. Just a touch. And then I will just fill this in with black here. A little bit more paint, eh? Just to get over the whole thing. I've got these little tiny pink cells that are popping up here too. Now I'm just going to go back that way. And see if I can get some of this to open up here. I don't mind if some of that goes off. So I have to open up a little bit. Oh, there's some more white cells popping up through here, which is pretty. I'll let some of that run down and off. And I can maybe tilt it a little bit towards you just to go off, get some of this pink off here. Better hang on to my card so it doesn't slide right off, eh? Now that's working. I'm keeping my white, but I'm just losing a little bit of that pink because it was quite, quite a lot of pink there. Let's take that back down, open this up a little bit here. It's quite an interesting look, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's beautiful, it's interesting. <laughs> you can tell when I don't really like something, hey, it's interesting, instead of gorgeous or spectacular, it's, it's interesting. All right, just going to fix up these corners where I've put my fingers in them. Well, considering I just wanted to use up some paint, pretty happy with it. Uh, it, it is quite uh, almost muddied, I guess, because the paints are so thin. They're a, a three to one mix, so that's why... Um, we're getting this look of them, the colours not being as bright as they could be and not as defined in, in their sort of feathering and wispiness because my paints are a bit on the thin side, which I knew. But I just wanted to see what would happen if they were thin. Getting some little cells popping up here, pink ones up here under the blue, aren't they cute? <laughs> So if I continue to stretch this out, I think more pink would come up underneath here. But um, I won't. I'm just going to leave it at that. And I've still got quite a lot of paint left. So I'm going to do this again with my leftover paints and use more. I'll get a bigger cup and I'll use up all the paints and uh, maybe do three layers just so that I don't have so much pink there. All right, so let's do that.
I'll take you in for a close up. There we go. Not unattractive, just not beautiful. But uh, it's a good idea. It shows you, you know, what will happen with a, a thinner mix. So there we go. I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.